We're talking now to Magnus Dandanel. He is one of the founders of the Magmira Distillery here in Sweden. Magnus, thank you for joining us. Can you tell me a little bit about your background before we talk about the distillery? Yeah, of course. I'm uh, a chemical engineer from the beginning uh, by education, and then I worked on a pharmaceutical company in, in Stockholm. Uh, in the on the in the university, I met a. Uh, uh, so, some friends, uh, friends that I later would start the Macmira distillery together with. Mm. And how did it come that you you were planning to do a distillery to build a distillery? Uh, well, uh, we the friends from mm -hmm. from from the stu studying times. Uh, this was five years after, so we worked on, on different big, bigger companies. Uh, but we kept together once a year or so, and, and uh, this year, 1998, we went to, to Salen, that's a ski resort in, in the north of Sweden. So, and we brought to a friend's cabin, uh, we brought single malt, eight, all eight of us brought a single malt bottle. So it was a really good uh, whiskey uh, buffet. Uh, at that night, and that start started the creativity, and we would st st start talking about uh, single malt whiskey and uh, why we don't have anything uh, like that in Sweden. Mm. And how long did it take then uh, until actually the distillery was working? Yeah, a lot, a lot of people uh, just um, uh, lose the idea on after mm. that crazy night. Uh, but in the morning we started to, we thought it was a good idea, so we couldn't let it go. So we started to work on the side of our ordinary jobs uh, for one year mm. uh, and, and um, um, scan the markets, scan the technology, visit Scotland, visit Ireland and read all about it and, and did our plans. And then uh, in, uh, in March uh, 1999, uh, one year after, we started the company and the 18th of, of December, uh, we did uh, the first uh, drops with a, a really small distillery, a pilot plant. So we, mm. we built our own pilot plant pot still distillery the first year, uh, the year in 1999 and developed the recipes. And you uh, certainly soon out outgrew the, your size uh, and had to build a bigger distillery? Uh, the idea with the small first one, that's, you know, the mm -hmm. size was just uh, uh, 30 liters came, came out each distillation. So it was just to, to develop the recipes mm -hmm. together with Swedish whiskey lovers that helped us. The, the future consumers, we invited them to, to uh, to, to be a part of the developing of the Swedish whiskey. Mm. So, 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 uh, uh, so, so, uh, so, so when we have developed the recipes, we founded uh, um, seed capital and, and could uh, raise money and, and, and to build a, a full scale distillery in the same building, mm -hmm. the Macmillan Brooks distillery. So and that was 2002, so it's three years. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so you moved then from this building to the one we are in now, to the Gravity Distillery. Tell us a little bit about this uh, this distillery. What makes it unique and different? Yeah, the the Macmillanbruck Distillery. They, we outgrew it because a lot of people was coming to us for visits, and the capacity was uh, not hundred percent because it's the middle of a residential village. Really nice place, but but we thought that this was be better to have some some place of our own uh, and build a. a on a new place where we can uh, grow for many, many years and to have a lot of visitors. Mm -hmm. So we decided to do a big project and, and uh, build a new distillery. And uh, well, this was the project started 2009 uh, and, and uh, we, we, we started to, to build a forest warehouse and then we built this distillery. It took two years to build. And we, um, we decided to not do a cup of the old one, but to do a state of the art, uh, uh, really modern. Uh, um, climate-friendly distillery. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so we build it on from from the top to the bottom. So, so the the process actually goes from from this uh, this uh, level uh, level number seven, onto the to the to the basement where we fill the the casks and and all the process is step by step. So we're using the gravity force. Right. Um, and you mentioned that this distillery is environmental friendly. Uh, in, in which way is it that? 
Uh, well, all the ways that you can think of uh, from the from day one, it was just the forest here. So the thought was to do right from the beginning. So it's uh, it's a one hundred percent closed distillery. We have no sewage. We, we take uh, care of of the outlets to do biofuel, uh, bio uh, natural gas, mm -hmm. and we're using biofuel to to heat it with uh, forest pellets from from the for forest and the bio burner. And, and we're using the gravity force to, to save some energy and a uh, good, good re, reuse of energy all the way. The, the electricity is from the closest uh, water uh, power station here. So we can actually go and uh, visit the power plant for, for the ele electricity. Mm -hmm. uh, and and, and the, the ingredients are as local as possible. So, so we thought it through all the way. And also did it uh, visitor friendly and, and um, uh, what, what do you call it, uh, uh, accessible for, for all right. kind of people like handicaps, uh, accessibility and so. So it's, and the uh, um, working ev environment is also modern, so it's the right uh, temperature and, and so on. So, so it's, it's, it's really good on, on all these things. And we still have the old distillery where, where we have, the, you know, it's very traditional. So mm -hmm. those two um, points, uh, we like all, both the tradition and the innovation. Magnus, thank you for your time. Thank you thank for you. talking to us and yeah, enjoy the day. Thank you.